Today I'm sharing a what I eat in a week video. These are some of my favorite videos to make because if you watch my normal vlogs, you know that I love food. I love cooking. I love trying new recipes. I just think that food is so much fun. And if this is the kind of video that's gonna make you feel bad, make you compare what you eat versus what I eat. I would not recommend watching this video. I just wanna put that in the beginning of this. This is not meant to be a comparison thing, but more so to inspire you to find new recipes, try new things if you are searching for new things because I genuinely think that food is meant to be enjoyed. It's such a big part of my life. I know that I feel better when I do integrate just whole foods and really try to live a healthier lifestyle in a holistic way. That being said, I don't subscribe to any diet. I don't cut out any food groups. That for me just has never worked. I eat kind of everything in moderation, but of course you can totally alter any of these things to fit whatever dietary preferences that you have. This is purely meant to just inspire you and make cooking more fun. I also wanted to note that there were a couple things that I do every day that I didn't know in this video. One, I do take a probiotic every single day. That's something that's in kind of my normal routine. Obviously that's not food, but I do technically ingest that every single day. And so I take seed. I really like it. I find it does a lot of help for just my digestive system and my gut health. And so I'll have that link down below. This isn't sponsored. I pay for it with my own money. And also when it comes to coffee, I do drink one coffee a day. I have really been sticking to just one coffee a day these days. And that's always my morning coffee. Sometimes that's my chemical coffee sometimes that's a cold brew towards the beginning of this video I showed that more but as I went on I didn't always show my morning cold brew or my morning cup of coffee that I had and so I just want to say that in the beginning that I do have coffee every single day for the most part but I don't really have an afternoon coffee these days let's get into the what I eat in a week It's Monday today. I actually just got back from the gym and I typically do this before I go to the gym, but I honestly just forgot. I try to eat something whenever I have my coffee in the morning and typically that's a banana, some form of fruit. And so I'm gonna eat this banana, but yeah, I usually do this before I go to the gym, but I just forgot this morning. And so I'm gonna eat this now, walk cash, and then make a real breakfast when we get back. For breakfast, I'm making a new recipe. They are basically baked eggs. I found this on my Instagram. She did eggs, I think bacon bits, salt and pepper, and baked them in the oven for like 25 minutes. I'm gonna add spinach and also add a couple of extra eggs too. And she basically just dipped it in toast. I've never tried this before, but it looks simple. I lately have been trying to do higher protein breakfast. So eggs, turkey bacon. I do Greek yogurt every now and then to avocados i feel the best when i have high protein and higher healthy fats in the morning that just works for me i haven't gotten around to actually baking sourdough in a while but i really like whole food sourdough i think that it's delicious and you can get it sliced from them too and it's just really good <laughs> she dips the toast in the eggs, but I don't like really runny eggs. I like my eggs very cooked through. So it kind of ended up just being like a fried egg on toast, but it looks good. I also topped it with some hot sauce. So let's see. Hmm. I feel like it has more flavor than when I just fry an egg still. I like. It is lunchtime and for lunch, I'm actually making something that I meal prepped yesterday. So I'll insert the footage of that, but it's a chickpea, cucumber, feta, tomato salad. Really good. I will say that I don't think this is gonna fill me up too, too long. So I'll probably have a snack in the next couple of hours, but for now we're gonna eat a bowl of this. It is me from the past. It is actually Sunday. I'm doing some meal prep today. I'm making this recipe. It's a 10 minute pesto chickpea salad. I actually found this on my Instagram. One of my favorite ways to find new recipes is just Instagram reels. It has like chickpeas, grape tomatoes, pesto feta I like to do this sometimes on a Sunday just have at least one thing prepped to have a more nutritious lunch when I'm busier <laughs> Another tip I have is to try to use recipes throughout the week that kind of incorporate the same thing. So for example, I have a lot of pesto recipes this week. Not that pesto goes bad very easily. I mean, this is gonna be good till a very long time. It just makes it easier so you're not buying a ton of different products or a ton of different items every week and you can just use the same thing. Because I'm meal prepping this for the entire week, I'm just gonna make the dressing separately to have in the fridge and then I can just pour it on whenever I'm eating it so all the ingredients don't get soggy. Mm -hmm. 
It's about 3.30 and I'm gonna have a snack. I'm eating this sumo orange and I love these oranges because they're so easy to peel. They're basically like giant clementines. So if you've never tried a sumo orange, I would highly recommend it. And whenever I have some sort of fruit or something that's a bit more sugary, I like to pair it with a healthy fat or protein. I'm eating a chopstick. I love chopsticks, one of my favorite snacks, and I especially love the jalapeno ones. They're really, really tasty. I just started making dinner. We're doing chicken chimichurri bowls. I've never actually done this recipe before, but it's from Jar of Lemons and I love her recipes. The only thing is chimichurri, if you don't know, is a parsley based sauce. And I, for some reason, forgot to grab parsley at the grocery store. And so I actually used a blend of basil, oregano, and cilantro. So it's not actually parsley based. The sauce tastes good though. So it turned out fine. The chicken's marinating and then we'll cook it and do rice the chicken, red bell peppers, avocado. And I think that's it, so pretty simple, but should be tasty. This is the rice that I'm using. It's just steamed brown rice. You put it in the microwave. I know that microwavable rice is not the best for you, but honestly, I just don't have a rice cooker and I'm really lazy unless I'm doing coconut rice. That one's pretty quick, but I just want to do normal brown rice. So we're gonna use this. For dessert, I'm eating one of these Yasso bars. I love these, they're made with Greek yogurt. The ingredients on these aren't the absolute best, but I have such a sweet tooth and these are just a little bit better for you and I find them to be really tasty. Happy Tuesday, I just got back from walking cash and it's a little bit chillier today, so I'm craving something warm for breakfast and I think I'm gonna make an oatmeal bowl with some blueberries and peanut butter, honey. I'll show you guys how I make them. I will sometimes do just slow cooker oats on the stove top, but when I'm lazy, I really like this brand. This is from Whole Foods. They are oats and flax and I just find that they taste really good. So we're gonna make this with some almond milk. Super simple, but that's what I'm craving today. This is also one of my favorite almond milk brands because it just is filtered water and organic almonds. It doesn't have any weird oils in it or anything. I also like the Malk brand too from Whole Foods. They are more pricey. But so many plant-based milks just have so many weird oils in them. So I like the Three Trees brand. Add in some frozen cherries, frozen blueberries, a big scoop of peanut butter, some cinnamon. I like a lot of cinnamon. And then also just a drizzle of maple syrup. It's about noon. I'm actually running errands right now and I am just ready for some lunch. I could probably make it till I got home, but I'm really hungry right now. And so I'm gonna stop at Original Chop Shop. I love this place. I don't know if they have them everywhere, but they have quite a few locations around Dallas-Fort Worth. They have like salads, bowls, a lot of kind of healthier options and it's all really, really tasty. So I'm gonna stop there and grab some lunch. Hi there, welcome to Starbucks. What can we get started for you today? Hi, can I just do a grande iced chicken espresso decaf? And can I do that with almond milk? Sounds good. It's gonna be 5.36 today. Thank you. It's 3.30, I'm ready for a snack. I basically eat every three hours. I like to have snacks, especially on the days that I have a salad for lunch. I definitely find that I need a snack in between lunch and dinner. And so we're gonna cut up an apple. These are pretty small, so I might do two of them, we'll see. Like I mentioned, I really like to pair my fruit with some sort of protein or fat. I'm actually gonna use some of this cottage cheese. This is the brand Good Culture. Cottage cheese is actually so good. I know it's not for everyone. It also has a lot of protein. It's 14 grams for one serving, which is half a cup. So really, really like that. I'll sometimes drizzle a little bit of honey too, because I do have a sweet tooth. So we might do that too. <laughs> Here we go. I also added in some pita chips too, because I was craving some of those. For dinner tonight, I actually had a different meal planned, but Aiden's friend ended up being in town this week, and so we switched things up. And Aiden's gonna grill some steaks, and we're also gonna grill chicken wings for the first time. We've never done that before. I think we're just gonna coat the wings in barbecue sauce and grill them that way. Steaks, and I'm gonna roast some broccoli and do some frozen sweet potato fries in our air fryer. Super simple, we usually do one grill night a week, so this works out, and it's just more fun for having guests over. 
It is Wednesday. I didn't work out this morning. I'm going to do an evening workout just because I have a bunch of work I need to get done this morning. Before I start, I wanted to make myself some breakfast. And so today I'm going to make, this has been kind of my go-to breakfast I've been making lately, even though I haven't made it yet in this video. And that is two scrambled eggs, two pieces of turkey bacon, half of a grapefruit and half of an avocado. I find that this breakfast makes me feel so good because it has a lot of protein. And I've really been liking turkey bacon lately. I don't know what it is, but I've been really liking more meat in the morning, which is normally not my thing but there's something about a crispy piece of turkey bacon that's just really good we use this applegate brand and i really like it i feel like it's tasty I'm gonna do a simple lunch today. We just have these leftover chicken thighs that we made last night. So I'm just gonna have these two. They just have barbecue sauce on them. And then I'm gonna do some carrots along with this tzatziki dip. I really like this one. It's from Kava. If you guys have ever had Kava, it's really good. And then I'm also just gonna add in some pita chips. So pretty simple, basically just a little snack plate. Just like rubbing his body against our bed frame. I don't know why he does that. It's dinner time. We're making pesto chicken tzatziki salad wraps from Half Baked Harvest. I've really been craving like crispy chicken wraps lately. It just sounds so good. And I've wanted to make this one for a while. And since I have all the pesto, I figure this was a great time to make it. So, and this actually seems super easy. I almost feel like this would be a better lunch recipe, but every now and then I feel like it's nice to just have kind of a lighter dinner. I love anything that has a lot of like Greek flavors in it. I just think it's so tasty and you can't go wrong with half baked harvest tegan always knows what she's doing she is amazing if you're ever looking for recipes i'm sure you know her but love her stuff i've already been marinating my chicken i'll insert that clip right here mix the chicken with the greek yogurt and all the spices i'm trying to get better at marinating my chicken i'm always the person with the recipe who will do the minimum amount of time so if it says marinate for 15 minutes like okay that's good but i do think it tastes better when you marinate it longer so i'm glad that i remembered to do this beforehand this is going to marinate probably for the next like seven hours or so before we have dinner so and it should be just a lot a lot more flavorful so this is your reminder to try to marinate your chicken sorry this looks kind of gross to look at for our wraps this is what we're using I'm using these flour tortillas from Whole Foods. And then we're also gonna do some pepperoncinis, some romaine that I'm gonna chop up, feta, dill, pesto that I have left over, and then that tzatziki sauce that I used on a snack earlier this week. You could also put avocado, it was in the recipe, but I don't love avocado in wraps because I find it makes it just too mushy. It's not my favorite. I like more like crunchy wraps. So I omitted that, but you can of course add it. And then we'll also make the lemon garlic tahini as well. One half a cup of tahini. Tahini is such an odd thing to me. I don't know why. I just don't really know what it is. I think it's sesame, right? Yeah, it's toasted sesame seeds. But still, it's just such an odd looking thing. Some minced garlic. I'm always lazy, so I just use minced garlic instead of fresh garlic. One tablespoon of lemon juice. We're adding some pesto first lettuce adding our dill pepperoncinis don't need that many some feta chicken and now we're gonna fold this is the part that i feel like i am not great at oh wait no i forgot tzatziki There we have it. Honestly, it doesn't look like anything special. Let's see what this one looks like. Kind of the same. Looks good. I still need to wrap up Aiden's for him, but I think that this would also be good with some like sweet potato fries or something, but this will definitely still fill us up tonight. 
good morning it's a gloomy thursday i just got back from walking cash and i'm ready for breakfast i'm really hungry this morning and i'm just craving kind of a simple breakfast of some fried eggs i think i'm going to sprinkle some cheese on top i have some breakfast chicken sausage i'll show you the brand that i like and then just with some fruit maybe a piece of toast too we'll see what i'm feeling this is the brand that i like i really like this applegate brand it's just chicken and maple breakfast sausage i'll probably do a few or two of these links we'll see Is the breakfast i ended up just doing a piece of sourdough some chicken sausage i picked up these kiwis at the grocery store when i grabbed the chicken thighs and so having a few of those and my eggs look a little funny because i've had such an issue lately with my eggs sticking no matter if i use butter or oil it is lunchtime i actually just took cash to the vet so i am pretty hungry i have one half of my wrap left so i think i'm gonna eat this for my lunch today. I'll sometimes get questions why we don't eat like leftovers more often, especially for dinners. And it's because we eat a lot of food. I feel like if anything, we'll eat leftovers for lunch. And usually I don't have a ton of food left over because we both eat a lot and Aiden eats a lot too. And so I feel like we just don't have like a ton, a ton of leftovers. It's usually just leftovers for one person, but I have one of the chicken tzatziki wraps leftover. So I'm gonna have this and yeah, probably just with some carrots or something. Here's the lunch, very simple, but I'm excited, it looks good. I forgot to share these when I was actually making them, but I went ahead and made some chocolate chip cookies. They actually didn't turn out too, too great. I am on a mission to find the best chocolate chip cookies. And so if you have a recipe that you really like, feel free to leave it down below. I will leave this one down below. It's not the worst thing ever. It's from Tasty, but I did have them turn out really flat. I think it's because I just melted the butter and didn't really cool it. I did cool the dough in the fridge for a little bit before I baked them, but yeah, they're so tasty and I had two of these when they were warm. I love chocolate chip cookies. They're so good. So just wanted to mention that. I'm to make us some dinner, but I wanted to make a fun little mocktail. I think it's fun just to have some sort of drink while you're cooking to enjoy the experience. Whether that be an Olipop, a kombucha, an actual cocktail, whatever is your speed. I'm making a Moscow Mule kind of mocktail. I'm just using things that I found at Whole Foods that I thought would taste good together. We're doing some Topo Chico, which is like my favorite sparkling water. I love Topo Chico. And then this is Reed's All Natural Craft Ginger Beer. I got the diet one, but I know that diet drinks aren't necessarily better for you. I try not to drink them a lot. That's actually not true. I love a good Diet Coke. I just like the taste of it better than regular soda, but I just grabbed this one. And so we're gonna mix some of this in and then probably squeeze some lime and grab some mint from our little herb planters on the wall. Give it a try. Ooh, that is good. Sometimes I will just do sparkling water too in the evenings, but every now and then it's fun to make a fun little drink. For dinner, we're doing hot honey crispy salmon bowls. I've really been into salmon bowls lately. I like making the salmon super crispy, putting it over rice. And this one's fun. I've never actually made this exact recipe. I don't think cause actually I think I made this before. I just didn't do asparagus. I did broccoli, but we're gonna do the asparagus. I'm also modifying it and I'm actually gonna do my salmon in the air fryer. I find it gets a lot crispier there as opposed to when I bake it. So those are the only modifications and i always try to buy wild caught salmon whenever we do salmon because from what i've read it's just much better for you than buying farm-raised salmon so that is dinner I also wanted to mention that I actually made coconut rice instead of normal rice for this recipe. It's one of my favorite swaps. Coconut rice is just so tasty. It's super easy to make too. You just need unsweetened coconut milk, add in some water, add in your rice and cook it normally. I just finished our dinner. It looks so good. I can't wait to try the cilantro ranch that's on top too. Seriously, the best if you have an air fryer. It makes salmon so tasty and crispy. Really, really would recommend. 
Good morning, it is Friday. This morning for breakfast, I'm kind of craving some sort of smoothie situation. I think I'm just gonna blend together some Greek yogurt, frozen fruit, maybe some peanut butter and almond milk. Just kind of make it like a chunkier smoothie bowl thing and I'm gonna top it with some walnuts or I'll see whatever nuts we have. And I find that just having like a smoothie or a smoothie bowl alone doesn't always fill me up and sometimes I need some sort of like protein, even though there is protein in the Greek yogurt and the peanut butter, just kind of offset it. And so I'm also gonna make a fried egg with it too. It's just kind of what I'm craving today. making these little grilled nuggets that are frozen, but I love this brand because it's literally just chicken. They don't have any breading on it or anything, and they taste so good dipped in sauce. And so I just put these in the air fryer for about like 10 minutes or so. And as you can tell by this point, lunch is kind of my simple meal. I just like to throw something together. So we just have some pita chip crumbs because we're basically out of pita chips carrots and hummus. I find these chicken nuggets at Whole Foods, but I'm pretty sure Costco has them. I bet a lot of places have them. I don't think they're anything revolutionary, but they're just such a quick way to get protein in and they're pretty tasty. today's snack i'm actually gonna have a few of these pieces of this yogurt bark that i made i'm gonna insert my footage of how i made this it's super simple i've just been keeping it in the freezer but i saw this from my friend savannah on instagram she shared this and i thought it would be just like a fun snack to have so we're gonna have some of this for the yogurt bark i spread my greek yogurt over a sheet of parchment paper you can also mix in some honey if you want it to be a little bit sweeter then I just top mine with whatever fruit I wanted or you can do whatever nuts you want to and then you just freeze the bark and break it apart a few hours later. For dinner i actually wasn't feeling super great this evening so i had aiden just bring me home a brisket sandwich to go because i was not feeling the best that is everything for this video if i shared any recipes or anything i will link them down below you should definitely check them out i always want to credit all these wonderful recipes that i follow because i don't come up with these all the time and yeah let me know if you enjoyed let me know if you like these food related videos i always like finding people who do enjoy them because i think food is really fun but i know not everyone is obsessed with these and so let me know so thankful for you all and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, friends.